Now that we have finished configuring the accounts, we need to configure what is called the LinkedIn workflow. Typically, we input the starting point of the workflow. The guide next to it tells you. You need a sales navigator search and input. So we'll do a little sales navigator search. And now I'm going to tell you about very interesting filters. The first thing to do is to enter the job titles. Beware, LinkedIn is a declarative solution. So if you want very relevant results, you need to create maximum variation and exhaustiveness in these job titles. So let's say we want CMOs or Chief Marketing Officer, typically all the people who are decision makers in marketing positions. And then the first move is to systematically check the first page and the last page. That's how you will identify the people who are on the fringe and whom you want to exclude. Have a look at the last page to check if it's relevant. When you see a non-relevant result, take back your job title expression and add an exclusion saying, I want all these people, but not the people being conversion. Once you've excluded all the people that don't suit you, check again. That is a very important iteration phase. If you want to put the workflow in real autopilot, the data coming out of it needs to be very qualitative. So you should really not neglect the time to spend on the phase of checking your search is well qualified. Once you have a well qualified search, we said we were working. Let's take 11, 50, 200. We can see we end up with 1,500 results. Let's put Europe. And we see we have 70,000 results. That's when the very important workflow autopilot phase comes into play. It's a sales navigator filter, which will allow you to exclude the people whom profile you have already visited. That's very powerful because Sales Navigator lets you see only the first 100 pages, that is 2,500 people. But here you can see I have 69,000 results. It's with this filter and on the long term that will succeed in doing so. What is the purpose of this filter? If today I visit Rabilla's profile, her profile will disappear. It is thanks to this feature that she'll be able to put the workflow in autopilot by telling Captain Data each day or every two days to collect some people and the next day to do it again, to collect new ones. And it's sure it will be new people each time. So once you have your search, copy the URL, and now we're on Captain Data to launch the workflow. So we have done our search. By the way, you can see that if I reload the search, the person whom profile I just visited, Rabilla, has disappeared. Plus, there's a little text saying I already saw it. And I add my filter, so I take this search and I paste it in Captain Data.